Hello YouTube, I'm going to be doing a channeling tonight on Shane Carey. Um, this is a case involving Heidi um, Elizabeth Brichard. Also, Shane's middle name was Tyson, so it's Shane Tyson Carey. Heidi Elizabeth Brichard, her birthday is 6 And then there's a three-week-old baby named uh, Margot Carey or Corey, I think. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, so I apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but her birthday, I want to say, was 11 26 uh, 19 um, I also want to thank you to Miss Texas SB for gathering a lot of the uh, birth dates and info for me at the last minute because I was having a problem trying to find them. So, uh, again, I just want to thank you for helping me with that. And um, I'm going to do a spread on the 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 morning of what happened, what he was doing between the time frame where he really didn't have an alibi and what he's feeling now and like what's probably gonna happen in the future. Um but like uh today I got a lot of clips of like pictures in my head. Um I, I'd seen some pictures last night obviously of her when I was looking her up and the baby um, again, I'm say I was gonna say like I said last night. I'm not picking up a lot of the baby's energy, and I and I really feel like it's because the baby is young. The baby is only two to three weeks old, so I don't really think that it knows much how to send out energy. And I think if anything, if it does, it's probably being held and watched by somebody um, on the other side, um, in the sense of like spiritually. So, um, I'm, I'm just not feeling the baby's energy. I'm not saying that it's not alive. I'm saying I, I kind of feel like it might be or, I don't know. I just get the feeling someone's, like, taking care of it or something or they're somewhere. Um, I almost feel like it's, like, um, they were put in an area where people, because Texas has lots of vast areas. Um, look up the killing fields if you've never heard of it. Um, there's lots of and lots of fields and 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 open property and 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 land and places that you can go into and people would never know you're there. So um, I don't know if there was some type of property or something that he had, but I feel like there's something to do with a home in a country type of of setting. I don't know if they own that property or if um, it's just something that he came across. Um, maybe when he was moving people in and out of his job. He mentioned that a lot about his job. He mentioned a lot of things that was odd. Like how he wo took a drink of water when he woke up in the morning. Um, things that didn't really matter. It was almost like he was trying to, to deflect from what actually mattered to things of like, I was drinking water. Um, I watched her make the kids lunch. It was the first morning that she took the kids by herself. Like, and that made him cry. Like, why would that make you cry that that's the first morning that she took the kids by herself? I thought that was a very odd, like, uh, trigger response. Um, I don't know. There was just something about the way he said it that just came off wrong. Um, but I do feel, if, with as far as the baby, I do feel a feminine energy and a very strong one. But I don't feel like it's the mom's energy. I feel like there's almost some type of other feminine energy stepping into place to try to play mom. Um, until they can figure out what to do, um, as far as Heidi. That's what I feel like. And I say they because I do feel like somebody is helping. Otherwise, I mean, how else would, you know, I, mean, I just don't think you can just make a person and a baby disappear by yourself, Chris Watts. So, um, Seven of Cups is flipped here when I was um, pre-shuffling, and I wanted to write that because the Seven of Cups is flipped here. And I think it's because he's thinking of all the possibilities. I think right now he's thinking, 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 because this is mainly going to be about him, more of the spread. So I think he's thinking of all the possibilities that he can say that will make more sense of, of what he did and why he did it. Um, I think that... Um, let me see. Yeah, I also have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So that means something was coming in um, into the, the earthly realm, and it was coming in slow, which could have been the results, and it came in reverse, so it's not something he wanted to hear. So it kind of pissed him off, and that could be why it was in reverse. Now, also, I do want to make a point. I have lots of sprays for, like, good luck, um, literally bitch be gone spray, um, you know, money spray. So I actually have caught one called Hot Damn. 
And um, I get it from my, um, like, my store at, down here in, in Texas. And so I use this. It's a good luck spray. And what's funny is I don't really, obviously, I don't know Heidi. Uh, but it's funny because when I was doing this, uh, it's almost like her energy spoke out to, it's a good luck spray again. It says, uh, so, um... Good for you have so much good fortune you might be accused of having a horseshoe up your ass. So um, I don't know if that's something that she would have thought was funny, but she did like want. It, but you can like spray it on your body. You can spray it in the room. You can spray it however you want it. So I feel like um, she kind of wanted it sprayed, and so I'm gonna do that for her because um, I think she just thought it was funny. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if she was superstitious. I don't know if she believed in these type of things. But I think that she thought it was funny that this was called Hot Damn. So I don't know if she liked Hot Damn. But again, you know, it's a good luck spray and she wanted it sprayed. So I'm going to do that for her now. So here we go. This will be for her. I know. But she wanted it. So we're going to do it. So um, I went ahead, like I said, and pre-shuffled the cards and um, cut the deck. But we're going to go ahead and do it again, like I said, and again. This is going to be more uh, based on him and his uh, feelings the day that everything happened. Not um, what he's claiming, how things were, you know, leading up into that time. I um, I want to know um, how he's feeling currently um, the day of the disappearance and um, what he was waiting for in, in those days up to that. Like I said, I want to see what he was doing. The day leading up to it, the morning of, the day of, especially the time where he has no time frame, uh, which was 2 to 6, I think, uh, Miss Texas, uh, SB said, was, yeah, he said from 2 to 6 p.m. or something, he had no um, alibi, basically. And so that's why he didn't report her missing, because he didn't think a big thing of it, that, that he thought she was with her friends. So let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what... Um, this guy who is unfortunately reminding me a lot of Chris Watson, even actually a little bit more twisted because he doesn't seem to even realize during the interview when he's arguing with people and talking back, like you're not the, like you're worried about how you look, not what you're saying. And when you're missing your wife and your newborn, baby, he never really refers to the baby by her name. Um, and then when he says to return her, like I said, he talks about the one person. So let's see how he felt like the day before in the morning leading up to that. He felt the Empress energy. So he was, I guess, feeling beautiful. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, the, it's, it, it's a Taurus card. Um, again, neither of them have those signs as far as his birthday. I don't know. But he was feeling the fertility. He was... I think he was happy that they had the baby. Um, I think if the pater if there was a paternity test, I think he was very much hoping the baby was his. I do think that. Um, but let's see what comes out underneath the Emperor's card for Shane Carey. The thing is, what sucks, I think, is that you, there is so many slim, sl similarities between him and Chris Watts in the sense that he reminds me of Diane Downs and Chris Watts combined. Like, he can't help himself with, like, the behavior, but at the same time, like, his story and then the swaying and all the things that he does that kind of mimics Chris Watts, it just, I don't know, the interviews, all those things. But you have the Six of Pentacles here, so he felt something was unfair. He felt something was, there was, like, not an equal give and take of something um, that came in that morning, and, um... Let's go ahead and see why the Six of Pentacles here. That's an Earth sign, again, along with Empress. usually represents Taurus. So, again, the Earth signs are uh, Pentacles are Taurus, um, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So, you have the... Uh, I'm sorry, I have it the wrong way. It didn't come out that way. <laughs> I have the Ten of Swords upright. So, underneath that, you have Air... That's not air. Okay, so now I'm just thinking real quick with the birthdays. Um, the air might be him. Well, I, well, somebody was obviously heartbroken about something, and they felt like completely defeated. 
Yeah, and there's more. I said, like I said, I think there's Earth here. Maybe I don't know if he's an Earth sign, or maybe one of the other children is because this is a page. So I think, um, but it's in reverse. So like the Page of Pentacles came in that morning, reverse. So I think someone brought in a message about the baby, basically. Um, I know the baby is not a earth sign, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. The baby's on the earthly realm, and the message had to do with the earthly realm. So I think some, somebody brought a message into him that morning in reverse, and he didn't like it. And I think she didn't know. I don't think she knew the message came in. Yeah, and here's the Knight of Pentacles. So he went to go double check this message, and it was correct. And he was not only pissed, he was super pissed. And, and he couldn't believe that um it interfered in his earthly realm in the way that it did so let's see um what is underneath that for him also yeah he lost his strength at that moment and he had the eight of wands come in the reason i put them together is because they go together pretty much in this uh spread to me you see i'm sorry it's off focus still okay so you see strength is here and next to it you have the eight of um wands and they're there for communication now the eight of wands is usually um some type of email um it can be a letter it can be any of those things we don't do letters as much now that they say it's text things like that but it's anything that has to do with communication and it comes in fast and it comes in harsh most of the time and it get it made him lose his strength so um let's see what he did immediately after that He made a move. He decided to make something move and make it move the way he wants it to move in his direction. And no matter, nothing will stop him. He's here on cement. Uh, this is a cancer card. This is actually Heidi. Heidi is a cancer. So um, he is going to make Heidi move. He is a... I don't know his intention of doing it. I don't know how he's going to do it. That's what we have the clarifying cards for. So that we're going to see. But yes, she is a cancer. That represents cancer. That um, So that shows that after he found out the information, he went towards Heidi. So let's find out why. Yeah, he came at her quick. And he came at her fast. And he came at her pissed. Because he's the Knight of Wands in reverse. Now the Knight of Wands up right is usually like the guy who wants to hook up with you and take you home and then like you never see him again but he's kind of like the dickhead I'm, I'm sorry the jerk of um night so um let's see why the knights of wands or i feel like after when she got home and he saw her coming in he came at her with like information and it, like blindsided her didn't even give her a chance to answer um and so he went ahead and laid down the burden at that point i think he was tired of feeling mentally um pulled between the both of whether the baby was his or not and uh whether she was truthful with him or not so i think that's why that card could be there so let's see what the clarifying cards are gonna say i want to thank you for joining me um, I hope you're enjoying the reading. If you do and you um, haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I have a lot more coming out soon. So um, let's see what the clarification cards say about the spread that I have so far laid down. All right. Sorry to shake the table. I don't have a better set up there. All right, so let's see why the Empress is here in the morning and day leading up. He fought the Five of Cups. So, so what they had the three children. So the three children are here, um, but I think he feels there's this relationship going on between his, or behind his back, I'm sorry. I don't know why I touched the card and not the camera, excuse me. But there's these two, and I feel like he feels like this is Heidi, and I feel like he feels like this is the baby. Now, um, I feel like this is the person he feels she's having a relationship with and the other two children. That's the energy I get off the card. He loves her, but he feels that she has done him wrong, and he's not happy about it. So with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, he's going to take what he feels he deserves. 
I think he might have some type of earth or a lot of earth in his chart. Um, cause, um, here comes water, which is the, uh, hanged man. So he's acting out of, um, character lately. Um, and I said the same thing about her and I think it's both because they knew that what was coming as far as the results. But I think he was really acting out of character. I think he's still acting super out of character. And I think that's what's causing all the attention. So let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. There's too many cards. Yeah. Where'd the card go? There it is. The Six of Cups reversed. Yeah, so he's seeing the children and he's seeing it as upside down. Um, of course, like this is supposed to be the reminiscing, but it can be your own children. So whatever, um, is the 10 of swords to him has to do with the children. So he is feeling, um, at a loss, everything's over the end of the world. And it's because of the six of cups being in reverse with the children. You see a girl here and a boy. And then with the knight of pentacles, um, or the page of pentacles, you have the knight of swords coming in in reverse, which who is pissed at the knight of pentacles who's pissed. They're both pissed, um, but uh, they're going in the opposite direction of each other. So it's kind of like um, who's air? Is there anybody that's air? No. I guess that either he's air, or earth, or has a lot of them in his chart. But the air is facing her, which makes me feel that's him because uh, she is the Cancer and he is. I'm not sure. The page is facing him. Which is kind of like, to me, like the child in a way of whether him or the child itself looking at these per at this person and the mother going, um, like, I just got here. What is going on? Like, this is, this is not how this, like, I just got here. Like, what's going on, basically? Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I think the baby was very confused at first. And then you see the um, Knight of Pentacles followed by the Four of Pentacles. And I think the reason it's followed by the Four of Pentacles is because even though he was very, very, very upset and he didn't, I don't think he planned to kill her right away or planned to harm her right away. But I think as time went on, certain things happened and he just reacted because um, I have two cards that fell out for the two cards that are already out in strength. You have the Seven of Cups. So, in strength, uh, they're feeling like they have no strength because someone is overindulging. Someone is taking the opportunity to um, do things that is is not um, totally right and, and taking advantage of a situation. It's overindulgent, sex, love, you know, or sex, drugs, rock and roll, um, and just basically overindulgent. So, then I have the um, Eight of Wands that came out with it because there was two cards, and then I have the Sun in Reverse. That actually came in on the top of that, which again is including children. So it's a newborn baby. You know, that's it, it's the sign of Leo. Like I said, I know the baby is not a Leo, but it is a fire sign. So then you have the Sagittarius on top of the chariot. Now, to me, the Sagittarius means life. And when you flip it upside down, I, I don't. I feel like you're taking some of that. Like I said, again, the Knight of Swords is coming towards those cards and the Aquarius has their back to them like they didn't know and I had said yesterday I had a headache really bad right here I mean it felt like someone like, like I kind of got like a hit in the head right type of here and, and I don't normally feel like that like when I'm doing a reading or feel any type of pain or anything like that I feel like anxiety or depression or stress but I never feel any physical pain but as soon as I was done with the reading my head didn't hurt anymore so I thought that was really odd um that's never, like I said, that's never happened to me before. I'm not saying, I mean, it totally could have been a coincidence, but I do want to say my head hurt right here and right here. So next you have um, the Knight of Wands in reverse and you have the Empress here. So whoever came in, which I believe is him, he went ahead and um, took his, um, this is what I'm saying. I'm not sure if he's looking at her as the Empress or somebody else, because I do feel like there's a third party. I, I do. I don't know who she is, but I feel a woman's energy, and it's not the mother, and it's not the babies. Um, so, yeah, he's act he's got the nine of wands putting down the burden, but he's also got the hierophant in reverse, which means the hierophant's all good, all knowing. Um, the family man taking care of the children, making sure everybody's taken care of. 
Um, and it's in reverse. So therefore, that's telling me that he is not doing those things. So let's see if I can get um, two more cards on maybe how Heidi and the baby, if there's anything that they could say or send to somebody to let them know. Um, and then we'll get two more cards to see where uh, Shane's actually at. Okay, let's see. Sorry, if my can I need to get, I'm using my phone, so I don't have a camera. So, um, like, I went ahead and, I'm gonna, I started with Shane. I know I said the girl, but I went ahead and started with him. And the reason why I did is because, I, like, I want this, this spread is about him. So, the devil came out. So, um, we're going to see why the devil came out for him in this spread. Because of the three of uh, cups, like I said, I feel like he's cheating, or was cheating. I feel like he was overindulging. And that's starting to show, or it will show soon. Now let's do two cards for the mother and the baby. Um, she's feeling actually independent, it seems, at the moment for some reason. I don't know um, what realm she might be coming in and out of. Because I, um, I don't... I don't... Um, I feel her energy, but I feel it differently at times. And the baby. Like I said, I don't feel the baby at all. But I feel the baby with the feminine energy. So I don't know who that energy might be. But um, she's almost at the point now where she's ready to walk away from whatever this is that's making her feel this way. So um, she's probably just, like I said, she's stressed out. She wants to go home and and she's confused is what I feel. Like. I feel she's very confused. On what's going on and and why all like why are all these cups spilt? What's happened? That's the energy that I'm getting. So um, that's what I want to say about him. As far as him, that morning I don't see him leaving as early as he said. I think he was there for a little bit. I kind of feel like he knew the test results were coming in that day. I don't think she was as worried. Here's the what I think happened. I think that he they both knew. That it was a good possibility this baby was probably not his, right? So, I think that um, whenever the results came in, they, he knew what day it was going to happen. And um, I think that, you know, I don't know if he was waiting for them to come in, but that's kind of how it seems. Because as soon as she gets back from the school, she pretty much disappears. And like I said, uh, she is, um, I think that like I said they found the purse in the car. Um, right after, uh, or right when they, he says he got home and the purse was in the car or something like that of the sort, but, um, but that all the stuff was there. So obviously that's weird. Now we're going into what, that was a 12. So I think what today is like way further away. Of course she would need things for the baby. She'd need things for herself. She just had a baby three weeks ago. So, no one's going to go missing from their other children and their, um, and especially with their newborn and not have the things that they need. So, um, like I said, I think that the test came in and I think that he was supposed to be at work, but I kind of feel like he came back home once he got the results. I think he presented them to her. I think there was a phone call about the book fair. I, I feel like they might have had money problems or he was using the fact of the conversation about the book fair because it was probably the last conversation that they, they had besides the baby. And then, um, I kind of feel like, um, I mean, like I said, I, I feel, like I said, I feel like they got into an argument and that, uh, he started to, um, kind of maybe hit her a bit and then she started hitting him back, to tell you the truth. I feel like she hit him back and I feel like, um, whenever he hit her back, he hit her harder. Um, I don't want to say in the way he meant to because he shouldn't be touching her to begin with, especially as a man. But he hit her a lot harder than what I think he, you know, I, I, I think he blacked out. Like, I don't even know. I don't even want to say blacked out. Basically, he hit her too hard. And I don't know if she fell and hit her head. And that's why it hurt in the back. Or if, whatever. So, I think it was like a crime of passion type thing. So, I don't think it was completely planned out. I think it was in the moment, heat of the moment. It's not my baby. I can't believe this and she's probably looking at him like you knew this was a possibility what are you talking about get out of here if this is how you're gonna be 
and then it ends up being like a shoving match. So that's kind of what I feel like is going on. I feel like she is somewhere on a property somewhere. I don't know if they own property together. Um, and again, Austin has a lot of empty property with land and vast amounts of it. So um, I want to thank you for watching the reading. If you know anything or can think of anything that I didn't include in it about Shane Carey, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. Um, and we'll discuss it and hopefully, you know, other Southern Soul Tarot, um, fam will weigh in. So I just, like I said, again, I just want to thank you for watching, um, Shane, about Shane Carey, um, Heidi Burchard and Margot Carey, or I kept, sorry, I keep saying Carey, but I think it's Corey. And, um, again, um, the, the similarities between him and Chris Watts are, um, very mirroring, but also at the same time very disturbing because he seems a little bit more off than Chris Watts. He seems, like I said, a mixture between Diane Downs and Chris Watts. So we'll see how this goes from here out. But um, thank you. Like I said, thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed it and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Like I said, um, I'd love to have. We'd love to have you as part of the Southern Soul family. Um, we put there's videos out quite. I put videos out quite a bit. Um, I do true uh, true crime and tarot readings. Also, um, celebrity afterlife readings. So, um, and then in my about section, I do readings, uh, private readings. There's also prices and my email. If you want to just email about something else and you have a question about something else. Um, sorry if the beginning and the end of the videos are rambling on these last two, um, that are connected to each other, but I'm just finding out a lot about it. So I'm trying to connect it and I'm a Virgo, so I'm going to go over the beginning and the end and make sure I you know, cross all my T's and dot all my I's. So I apologize, like I said, and I will timestamp when the video starts and or when the reading starts and when it ends. So once again, thank you and I hope y'all have a great night. Goodbye.